Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm making a delicious crock pot beef stew. But before we get started, today's video is part of a Crocktober collab hosted by Jenny Goff. I'll have Jenny's channel as well as a playlist linked in my description box below. So when you're done with this video, head on over and check out all the others. And if you're coming over from the playlist, welcome. My name is Valerie and I'm so glad you're here. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. Now let's get into this crock pot beef stew. This recipe is one of my family's favorites and I'm so excited to share it with you. Now the first part of this recipe you'll do in a large skillet on the stove top, but my crock pot happens to have a stove top function. So I'm going to do everything right in here. To begin, add two tablespoons of oil to your skillet along with one diced onion. I sauteed that for a few minutes to give that onion a chance to soften. Next, add in your beef stew meat. I'm using about two and a half pounds along with one fourth cup of all purpose flour. And I just sprinkled that evenly over the top of the stew meat. Stir this to get everything coated in that flour and cook it on medium to medium high heat. You're not trying to cook it through, you're just trying to brown the meat on the outside. Now transfer everything from your skillet to your crock pot. And to the crock pot, I'm adding one packet of beef stew seasoning mix along with one packet of brown gravy mix. Then I added in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two cups of baby carrots, one and a half pounds of russet potatoes, washed, peeled, and diced. I love adding in bay leaves to my soups and stews, so I added in two bay leaves and five cups of beef broth and I use the better than bouillon to make my broths. I do want to mention, Jenny will be doing a giveaway as part of this collab. She'll randomly choose a comment from one of these videos. The winner will be chosen on November 1st and receive a crock pot. So comment below your favorite fall recipe or even just say hey. Now back to the beef stew. I stirred it and set it to cook on low for eight hours. We do have just a couple more things to do before we finish off the stew. So around about 30 minutes before it's done, I stirred it, then made sure to remove those bay leaves. Now I'm adding in one cup of frozen peas, along with the cornstarch slurry to thicken the gravy. And to make that, I combine one tablespoon of cornstarch with two tablespoons of water. Now stir that very well until there are no lumps remaining. Now pour that mixture right into the beef stew. This will really help to thicken up that gravy. I stirred it, then put the lid back on and let it continue to cook for about 30 more minutes. This makes your house smell amazing, by the way. I mean, look at that. It just looks absolutely delicious. This recipe really has so much flavor and it's the perfect meal for this time of year. I made some good old southern cornbread to go with it and I served it over white rice, but you could also serve it over egg noodles. This beef stew is so, so good. I really hope you give it a try. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like this one. Thank you, Jenny, for letting me be a part of this collab. Don't forget to check out the playlist below for more crock pot recipes, and I will see you in the next one.